Hi, it's me again. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and my vlog. I am glad that you're here, there, wherever, and watching me again. This video is going to be strictly about, we're not strictly, I don't have a way with words sometimes. This video is about my mental health and where it's at right now because I know in the beginning of my videos, you guys have caught me in beginning stages of, um, no, I'm, a, I'm the ending stages of depression and anxiety. More depression and a little bit of anxiety when I was living with my mom and, you know, after leaving my husband and, and I was really going downhill really, really bad and really, really fast. So now I know that I've put in one of my videos that I'm living with my kid's father right now. We've remained friends since, you know, we had kids and stuff. My mother had kicked me out because of her mental health. She's insane. A whole nother story. But uh, she had kicked me out because, what was it? Oh, because I couldn't lift the trash bag out of the trash can because of my shoulder. That's what it was. Which, by the way, I'm having surgery on the 14th of January, which is only eight days away. I'm so nervous. Ugh. And speaking of that, I had to move my sharp my arm. So since living with him, my mental health has steadily picked up for the better. And I, I'm watching traffic as they go by. I'm uh, happier. I'm a lot happier. I sleep better. You would be amazed how much stress affects your sleep so I sleep better I sleep so so good I think better I can actually breathe better I don't take my anxiety pills hardly at all I take one I think I've taken two or three since I've lived with him whenever I was taking two a day living with my mom every day so yeah I'm doing a lot better I'm happier I, I'm just so great so great i've been taking depression pills i'm not going to stop them because just in case it was the depression pill working for me i don't want to stop it because when you stop it like that you go back downhill so i'd rather be safe than sorry i still kind of butt heads with my youngest daughter i think uh, she's very headstrong and I, I don't know who she gets it from, me or her dad. I don't know. Even my dog is happier. He's less skittish. Used to, he would cow, cower down like somebody was going to beat him to death. He uh, acts better. He's more relaxed. That's good, too. He probably sleeps better, too. So, yeah, everything is great. I I can come and go as I want. I can stay gone as I as long as I want. Although I have to put a gate between my dog and my daughter's dog because they get rowdy. My dog has arthritis now, I'm pretty sure, and he's grumpy. He's eight years old. Her dog is a little rambunctious because he's younger and he wants to play and make friends. And my dog doesn't want anything to do with it and he growls and snaps at her dog. So I put a gate up where they can't get to each other. You know, I and I could still stay gone. I could sleep in, which, you know, I... I do sleep in, but I do get up early because he does wake me up. I shut the gate at night so he'll wake me up, not anybody else to let him out. He wakes me up early to go outside to do his business. I feed him, which is early, and then I go back to bed because I stay up as late as I want. And I sleep in as late as I want and no, uh, what do you call it? No um, repercussion, repercussions, however you say it. That is great. That is so great. I'm a night owl. I am a chronic insomniac, but I'm a night owl too. I've always loved staying up late at night. I don't know why I like it so much. Maybe we're all just made different because I've heard of other night owls too. I stay up to 3 4 o'clock in the morning just surfing the net, researching, reading, watching videos on YouTube, and, and I sleep in. And it doesn't make you a bad person at all. If you don't have to get up for work do it you know if you do work be responsible you know if you want or if you want two or three hours of sleep then go to work more power to you but my point is is of course right now I don't work because I'm going to get disability because of my back and my neck and I'm fixing to get shoulder surgery after I heal I'm going to get a part-time job 
that I can tolerate while I'm getting disability because you can make so much as you're drawing disability. That's my plans. My mental health is great. I want to point something else out to you because of what I'm doing. And this is my whole reason for doing these videos is, I need to get back up here, is mental health. It, watch me and see what I do. You know, I was so depressed and so bad that I had bad thoughts and I won't go into that detail. I was bad. I was so bad. I almost wanted to commit myself because I knew I needed that psychiatry help. And it wasn't like I need to go once a week. It was I needed it bad and I was barely hanging on. But this wasn't the move that I wanted to do. I did not want to move back in with my ex-husband again. I knew it would be better than living with my mom. And it is. So... I hope you guys that have depression and anxiety and everything see what I, I done and improved myself. Me knowing that it was a better place to be other than my mom's, I took that, that chance because my other route was living in my car with my dog because I struggled to work because of my back pain and neck pain. I only had two choices and I knew I couldn't live in the car with my dog, so I went to stay with my kid's dad. And look, I, I chose a better path, a more positive path, and I took it and I've improved. It is very hard to think when you're in depression of the right things to do sometimes because you're so, so low mentally that it's hard to make that decision. I want to say if you have to write it down, if you have to talk to somebody else, make sure you talk to somebody who is mentally stable also. But if you have to write it down, write it down. Sort your thoughts down on paper of what you can do, your pros, your cons. Um, what steps can you take to make things better? Just like I did. Do I want to live in my car? Do I want to live with my kid's dad? What's the best? Although it's not what you want, is it better than where you're at at the present time? Do that. Sort your thoughts out. Sometimes when we're that low, we can't think right. And sometimes you don't want to pick yourself back up, but you have to. Because if you don't, you keep going down, down, down. And you suffer more and more. So, I don't know what the heck is going on. So, just think. <laughs> so, just think it through. Take your time. Think it through. Make sure you do the right thing for your mental health. That's very, very important is to keep positive and your mental health going. And it's very hard to be positive when you're down so low and so bad. Now, my next step is I am filing for disability. I have an appointment on the 24th. My surgery for my shoulder is the 14th, just 10 days after I can go in a sling. So I'm going to apply for that. That's my next step. My step after that is I'm getting my 401k balance, which is very, very small, very small. And I'm putting it in my savings account. I'm getting money from my divorce, which is very, very small. I'm putting that in my savings account. I will get back pay for my disability. I'm putting all that money together and I'm buying a used Sprinter van. When I heal from uh, my surgery, and everything goes through on the dis oops and everything goes through on the disability then i will be going to work part time drawing my disability checks and i'm going to fix the inside of the van it'll be totally off grid i'm going to have solar panels and the, you know the water the many gallons of water containers i don't know what you call them in the van i'll have a composting toilet in the van and a shower in the van that way i can live off of my disability and my work check and i'll be living in my van it's rent free and utility free so that's my goal for now and i want to travel but i only want to travel within the area that my disability checks can maintain for instance if I'm getting my disability check, I can't go to like Canada. Just like from where I live in Arkansas, straight shot to Canada. What I can do is like travel to two states up maybe and stay for a while 
until my next check and then maybe go another two states up. There are several states I want to visit, so that's my goal. If my YouTube channel takes off, then I can live off of the income on that and travel better. So we'll see how things go. I'll still live in a van for a while. It's just something I want to do. I think it's going to be fun. I wanted to give an update on my mental health and to show you guys that I can do it. And I have goals. Set yourself some positive goals for your future as well. It'll give you something to strive for instead of thinking, having negative thoughts. That's where I'm wanting to go. It, it gives you something to look forward to and being productive. I've been stuck in the house for a couple of days and that's not good for people people with depression also. So I had a couple of things I needed to, to do so I got out of the house. You guys have to know that it's very important to get out of the house when your mental health is low. If you stay holed up in your house and not go anywhere, you do get worse. So remember that. Any therapist will tell you that. So get out. Even if it's to the grocery store, go, put, go get your groceries or whatever. But then walk around a little bit. Just walk. Go look at things that you want to look at. Just, just to be getting out of the house. Go look at TVs and the inter entertainment, electronics. Did they change that from entertainment to electronics? Didn't it used to be called entertainment? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, you know where I'm going with it. That's something for you to do too. I hate going into clothing stores when I can't buy things. So I would, I would not recommend that because some of us, we get depressed if we can't buy that. Go to a park. Walk around in the park. If it's too cold, go walk around in the mall. Um, call somebody and say, hey, do you want to go have coffee? One thing of coffee is not that expensive. And talk. Share with these people, these friends of your goals and the things that you want to do. There's always a better position to be in than the one you're in now. I have to remember that. That's good. But it's true. If you're... If you're depressed, ask yourself why. Why are so many things going against you and what can you do to change them? I'm going to start a diary. Matter of fact, I thought about this last night. I'm going to start a diary and a gold book. I'm going to do two of them. I might just go to Walmart right now and buy me two books. I might do that. That makes me happy. Think what makes you happy. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Leave me a comment below what you might do. Leave me something saying what you're going to do to fix yourself. Tell me, you know, where you're at now and why you're depressed and what your goal is. Tell me anything. I want to know. I, I care. Tell me, tell me whatever you want to say. So do me a favor and like and subscribe my channel, please. It will help me out greatly. And share if you want to. Leave me a comment below. I would be so interested in what you have to say. So I love you guys and I hope to see you back soon. And be positive. I love you guys. Bye.